Hi, my name is Dave Phipps, and I am here to go over the inner connection of the Red Eye to my 69 GTO convertible. I've had a few uh, inquiries about how I was able to tie those two together, and I'm here to go over all the little things that it took to make that work. Winter time is a great time for adding new toys to the car, taking some things down, fixing them, or just uh, generally going through the car and getting ready for another driving season. A few things that we've added this year are the Pro Power Ejection 3 fuel injection system, the Classic Performance Parts hydraulic brake system, we also added rear disc brakes to the car, and a uh, heads-up display for the speedometer. We added a set of 9-inch Morel mid-subs to the kick panels to give a little more bass up front. We added a, uh, some electric cutouts for the exhaust, uh, which we also tied into the red eye and tied into a button on the dash where we can control those, uh, which is also pretty fun when you're uh, auto-starting the car with the red eye. With all the new things we've added to the car this winter, it's still a good time to stop and reflect on how we were able to interface some of the other items that we put in, like the red eye. We're going to stop and pull some panels apart, pull out some interfaces, and show you how we were able to hook up the red eye and control uh, all the different things in the car. Everything in the car is run on relays, from the windows going up and down, to the trunk opening, to the door kicks, to the actuators that run the exhaust kickouts. Everything runs on a relay. The relays I chose are ones I was able to buy on eBay very cheap. I got these Potter and Brumfield 30 amp relays for about 50 cents a piece. Uh, I took them and I soldered them together to make them more heavy duty, used 12 gauge wire to make sure everything had enough amperage. The black wire here, all it has to do is touch ground and it kicks that relay. I don't have to use wire that's heavy. I, I, wire that I chose to use is a 22 gauge wire. I can run it throughout the car, it doesn't take up much room, and all it does is touch ground and it would set the device off. On the block that I have that I connected everything, I've detailed out all the connections. Uh, there's a lot of connections here, but it's because there's a lot of duplicates. The doors all have eight connections each, so I can have the red eye on one, Bluetooth on one, 2.4 gigahertz on one, the switches that actually run it from the console on one. So there's multiple things in here that are duplicated in order for me to connect to them and run them from whatever toy I want to put on. The connection point that I chose to use is a 110 punch down block. Some of you will be familiar with that used in data and phone. Uh, others of you won't know what it is, but uh, it gives me a connection point to put punch down up to 100 connections, a very small wire so that I can just cross connect the switches to control whatever. Uh, even the smallest little connection of uh, touching ground to this wire, like here's the door kick for the passenger side. If I just touching that wire to that connection point kicks that. So to recap all the things that we've tied into our red eye, we are, are able to control the trunk, we're able to control the doors on the car, we're able to control the windows, we're able to put the windows up and down. We're able to control the top. We're also able to do macros that control uh, everything in one shot. Uh, we were able to start the car. We were able to control the stereo. Uh, we did those in our previous video. We have added one more new toy to it, and we're going to see if we can get down here close and, and show you what that is. One of the new toys we've tied into the Red Eye is the electric cutouts for the exhaust. By pushing a button on the remote, we're able to cut out the exhaust which will give uh, quite the effect when we start the car by the red eye and have the exhaust roar to life. In the back area this is where I have my red eye mounted. I've extended all the infrared emitters and the power of it so it doesn't really matter where I put it but this is where I keep my red eye in order to have it operate. In order to make the red eye control things in your car you have to have those infrared commands change into a dry contact. We do this with the 12 channel relay board. It uh, has an infrared uh, receiver built onto it. So if you aim the remote at that, let's go ahead and we'll plug this board in. I've already assembled it. Here's the kit unassembled. Once you put this together, then you can apply 12 volt power to it. And the infrared commands of this, when fed into the receiver, will actually kick 
the individual channels of this. You get up to 12 channels, so you can have 12 different things run. This relay board's kind of nice because it does toggle, so some of them, if you wanted to, you could have them actually stay on if you wanted, and then you get the same effect of turning it on and off by pushing the same button. So the main components that make the system work are the red eye, an iPhone or an iPod touch, uh, the remote that comes with the 12 channel relay board, use the remote for programming your commands into the red eye, and then whatever you're going to control. We've hooked up a few things just to kind of show you the basics of, of things that you can hook up. We've used a toggle feature on our red eye to uh, go ahead and, and kick some lights so we can turn some lights on and off. Same command turns it on, same command turns it off. We've uh, hooked up our fans from our computer. We've got Alex and Getty dancing around on the fans. We're also on a toggle feature, so we can turn them on and off. And then we've hooked up a motor to some timers. We've hooked up the motor to uh, a, a window, uh, an actual car window. And using those timers in, in a single command, we can make them go up or make them go down. We've used timers instead of limit switches this time. Sometimes we use limit switches, but this time we just used a, a timer and adjusted it to control and stop the window when it gets to the top or the bottom. Uh, this is pretty much how everything works in the in the car, whether it's uh, controlled by a timer or a relay, it all goes through the red eye and all goes through the 12 channel relay pack. Uh, I hope you found this informative and thanks for watching.